Hey everyone, it's me, Yana. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I'm a senior at a small liberal arts college in Minnesota, so I decided I would do a video on what's it like being a psychology major. Maybe some of you are going into your freshman year of college, you're just getting acceptances, and now you're figuring out what you want to do. Or maybe you're thinking of switching your major, or you just want to know if psychology is a good fit for you. Also in the description I will leave um, the different time stamps throughout this video so if you want to fast forward to a different part of where I explain something then you can. So without any further ado let's get on into the video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how I personally decided to be a psychology major and for me basically ever since I started high school I dealt with um, mental health stuff and a lot of my friends and people I knew were dealing with that too and then I started researching about mental health and then I came across um, you know what's it like being a psychologist psychology I did a lot of my own personal research and the more that I researched psychology the more that I was like wow this like interests me I love this and then um, my junior year of high school I took AP psych I definitely recommend if you're in high school to take like AP psych class to see if you would like it I also had a mentor at the time who um, she was a psychologist um, herself so I was able to ask her questions about the profession questions about school um, so that is something I recommend before hand is talking to people who do this for a living or who have done it so I was very lucky to have people in my life who um, majored in psychology and then also I remember in high school taking like the career tests where in like a college prep class we would take like what career would be best for your personality which I think those are a good starting point but you can't categorize your personality in a box and I feel like your personality shouldn't stop you from doing other jobs that say you're not a good fit but anyway basically I did it and it showed that my type of personality is good for like being a counselor psychologist basically any type of job that provides care to people um, so I guess that in my head confirmed that yeah I'm not surprised because that's what I want to do and so freshman year of college I didn't um, officially declare my major I actually declared my major sophomore year because um, I didn't want to rush into things I wanted to take a few psych classes see what it was like um, so I took some psych classes in college and I really liked those too I liked the professors that I had so I decided to officially be a psychology major about around I think like spring semester of my sophomore year was when I was like yes this is my psychology major and also don't be pressured to pick a major like try to like push it off as far as you can until you like technically have to declare a major um that way and just take a few classes see what you like there's absolutely no rush but basically that is the story of how I chose to be a psychology major a lot of personal research talking to people in the field and then taking actual courses in psychology to see if I would like it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is how my course load course schedule looked like for my specific program. So like I said, I go to a small liberal arts school um, and the emphasis is a liberal education so we had a lot of different general classes that we had to take and the psychology program is was very basic there was some really concentrated classes that I'll get into so basically freshman year I took like general psychology and then I took a statistics class just a really basic statistics class and then I took um, abnormal psychology, which is more so on like the clinical stuff. And some other classes I took as the years went on, I took cognitive neuroscience, behavior genetics. I took a research methods class, so a statistics class dedicated purely for psychology. Um, which I recommend doing it um, for me it was required in my program but I know some programs don't require that but I highly recommend taking a research based class I also took childhood disorders I took lifespan psychology that was a required one 
or lifespan development. I took educational psychology as an elective. Um, I also took philosophy of science, which counted as a psychology elective. Um, so basically a wide range of classes. And then for my senior seminar right now, I'm taking applied health psychology, which I adore that class. It gets into the more of the clinical and like post-grad aspect of it. So that was basically how my course schedule looked like and I took a whole wide range of classes. I had to take classes for my specific like in order to graduate like I had to take some science classes, art classes, um, I had to take like English classes that had nothing to do with my major but I really loved taking those other types of classes. I took criminal justice, I took an legal studies class and also I'm a philosophy minor so the rest of my classes were philosophy based which I loved because I feel like philosophy and psychology tied in together really well and so does criminal justice and psychology so um, if you want to do a double major or anything like that those work really well together but that's basically what my course load looked like I had a lot of freedom and what to choose it wasn't like for my program it wasn't like a strict program like you did obviously have requirements but you had a lot of options on like what you wanted to take i also had to take an internship that was required as well which i did last fall um, most likely if you do major in psychology you'll probably have to take an internship but i feel like with any major you have to complete some sort of practicum internship research whatever it may be okay now i want to talk about on if psychology is a hard major because i know a lot of people have a misconception that psychology is one of the easy majors that it's something you major in if you don't know what you're doing and if it's basically an easy major that you can just slack off and you're fine and the answer to that is no it is not easy it is hard I feel I truly believe that any major is hard because I have people that I know who major in art history or um, studio arts English and it's a lot of work like those classes have a ton of work yes biology chemistry engineering majors that's a lot of work too but i feel like no matter what major you're in it's gonna be hard that's just it like i don't think there's such a thing as an easy major i do feel that psychology was difficult my cognitive neuroscience class that was so so hard it was extremely hard i ended up doing well in it but only because i went to my professor's office hours consistently and studied but hard for those tests like that class was so hard and behavior genetics was kind of hard too and um you do have to take statistics you do have to take statistics classes you have to take some science classes especially biology you have to take biology i feel like as time goes on psychology ends up becoming more and more biologically based and it sociology based it's honestly psychology is so broad and has so much to do with it and there's more research being done with it so definitely it has a lot more of statistics and science um, which those subjects can be hard as well and it is pretty complicated and I felt like I had to study a lot like it wasn't just oh I don't have to study like I did have to study my program definitely pushed me yeah it wasn't easy by any means I feel like it is hard but at the same time I learned so so much valuable stuff that I wouldn't change at all and yeah but I don't think that psychology is an easy major I don't think any major is particularly easy unless if you're like Einstein or something but yeah I feel like no matter what major you choose there's gonna be times where it's gonna be hard next i'm going to talk about internships in psychology so like i said my program required me to have an internship in psychology and this was really easy for me to do kind of just the opportunity kind of just presented itself i knew i had to have an internship at some point um, but i ended up getting a job in a mental health clinic as an administrative assistant and then through there i kind of built or crafted my own internship I wanted it to be social work focused too, um, so I kind of, because there was a lot of um, clinical social workers at my job, so 
um, I would interview them, ask them questions, do a lot of research, different things like that at my internship, and I would participate in different trainings and meetings and things like that. So it was very like, I could kind of craft it to how I wanted it to be. And I had an advisor, I had an internship coordinator at my school that helped me. And they have a lot of resources out there for students when it comes to the internship search. Honestly, if your school has like a career fair or internship fair, that's really great to go to you can look up different things. I also was a sexual assault victim advocate and um, I got 40 hours of crisis mental health and crisis training through that. So that was really great. I did that sophomore, no, junior, yeah, junior year and sophomore year. I did it from sophomore to junior year, but um, I loved doing that as well. That opened up like opportunities for me I think that's what helped me land the job that I had but there's so many resources out there you can be a victim advocate like I was you can volunteer at a mental health clinic um, you can shadow psychologists you can do a lot of different things honestly just reaching out to your advisor reaching out to um, the internship or career development at your school I'm sure most schools are have one and just doing your own research too or asking upperclassmen people older than you what did you do your internship in and that definitely helps as well okay now i'm going to transition into talking about jobs in psychology and the future so i am a senior and will be applying for jobs and like i said i applied for a master of social work and I got accepted so I will be getting my Master of Social Work. So if you want to be a counselor, um, therapist, um, drug and alcohol counselor, um, marriage, family counselor, anything like that, uh, you do have to go to graduate school in order to become licensed and in order to get jobs. Basic, And if you want to be a licensed psychologist, you have to get a PhD to have the title of a licensed psychologist and then if you're wondering well I know people who are psychologists and they just got their masters well those are technically not psychologists they're mental health therapists or licensed professional clinical counselors there's like so many different terms and there's also licensed independent clinical social workers who provide therapy as well and that is what I want to be um, it's just basically the same kind of training as you would get to become a counts mental health counselor. It's just more focused on communities and the social aspect of it, um, more so than the individual, but you can go any route and probably get to the same ending to be giving therapy to people. Um, so there is a lot of job psychology is so broad with the major in psychology you can work in business um, You can go to law school You can go to graduate school for pretty much anything you can be a case manager You can work in the crime and justice system Like I said, you can work in the in business and marketing um, You could there's the opportunities are endless it is what you choose to do with it and the experience you get how you present yourself what research do you do what do you do outside of your major keep that in mind if you expect to graduate with a bachelor's in psychology and become a therapist that's not how it works you have to go to graduate school and you have to get licensed but it is worth it in the long run because job security you get paid a higher higher salary and everything like that like you could still find jobs in psychology with a bachelor's but it'll be harder and they won't be as um, high paying because you don't have that licensure or that graduate or grad school or your master's but um, yeah so keep that in mind if you just want to go to college for four years and that's it not go to school ever again then I don't think psychology would be the best for you unless if you know that you can get a job in like marketing or like the business industry or something like that obviously it's possible to find jobs in psychology but you're more likely to get hired if you do have that higher level of education 
but I think overall psychology is a really rewarding major for me and I'm really excited. I'm super passionate about it. I'm excited to go to grad school. I'm excited to get licensed eventually one day and be able to have sessions with people and be able to diagnose and all that type of stuff it's really exciting and i am excited for that basically psychology is super broad you can get a ton of jobs with it but if you're seeking to be a counselor or a psychologist then you do have to go on to higher education so just keep that in mind well, I definitely think if you're interested in psychology, if you want to be a mental health professional, um, or if you want to work in business or the criminal justice system, or if you plan on going to law school, or anything like that, definitely I would recommend psychology. So yeah, that is basically my story on um, what it's like to be a psychology major. If you guys have any specific questions, that i didn't address or if you want more clarity on leave them down in the comments below and like i said i'll be making videos on grad school why i chose like to pursue a master of social work different things you can do with psychology things like that so stick around for that make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload those types of videos and thank you guys for watching and for taking the time out of your day and hopefully you learned something. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.